Colin, I made a promise to our audience. Are you gonna follow through? Well, technically, Joe, it's not my promise to keep. Technically, it is. That's uh, yours. Because we're a team. Don't know where you got that idea. Oh, no. Because <laughs> generally, your idea of teamwork is not very teamy. <laughs> I am the best team worker. We beat uh Portal 2 co-op together. Oh, God, don't. Oh, God. <laughs> It really wasn't that bad. You, you know what? I don't, I don't think you could tell how, ang how like legitimately angry at you <laughs> I was for some of that. I don't think I killed you that much. You killed me a lot. Not it was that predictable. Much, it was predictable because every time we got to a fucking light bridge, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe he's gotten tired of it. Maybe he won't kill me this time. <laughs> nope, nope. Down to the fucking abyss, wasting all of our time. We every beat it. It didn't single take that long. Time. Oh, that was dreadful. I think you're remembering it wrong. You know, our brains... Oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. Um, our brains generally naturally try to remember the positive things. I remember no fun. Well, that's because you're a jerk. This is really your problem. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am good at that game. <sighs> that was... <laughs> no, Portal Portal 2 co-op is good. And I did have fun. It's just that your tendency towards wanton murder is a little annoying. I don't think it is. I think you're just too sensitive. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Although there's, there's... I could imagine that there would be worse. Uh, such as? Rachel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With as with as much as you tried to kill me, I can only imagine. <laughs> you know, it's not great playing with my brother either. N that doesn't surprise me. From what you've told me, he seems kind of bloodthirsty in video games. Not because he tries to kill me, because he has absolutely zero spatial awareness. Ah, that is also <laughs> probably bad. He is just unbelievably bad at those games. That's like, actually kind of hilarious. I tried to. I was gonna. I was letting him play the first portal. Uh huh. And he just couldn't do it. Really? <laughs> He'd never have any, like he. I don't. It was really weird. <laughs> like he'd shoot a portal and go through it and just have no idea where he was every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of impressive. Portal does a really good job of letting you know where things are. <laughs> it's. It takes some effort to get like disoriented. Yeah, it just wasn't his thing. I just so my brother is not like an infant or something. He just doesn't have any spatial awareness. Mmm. <laughs> What's that? Old night great sword. Can I use that? No. Eh. Oh yeah. There, there is an old knight sword that's good, but it's the ultra great sword. Mm. <laughs> You're using the wimpy one. Well, my fucking apologies, princess. Ugh. What did you just call me? Yeah. What, did, what did you just... It's a term what, of respect. What did you just... What did you just call me? <laughs> what did you... <laughs> what did you just call me? <laughs> Is this a person that's like, as they get more upset, they they lose control of the, like finer control of their lips and tongue? Like, are they just like, what is the Sure. Hey, Colin. Yeah. There's a rumor that in that movie Jupiter Ascending, uh huh, Sean Bean is playing a half man, half bee. But, uh, what? I don't know. What? I know nothing about that movie except that. A, a what? Half man, half bee. A what? Half man, half bee. Why? Half man, half bee. <laughs> I don't know. But now I want to see it. I I just want to... <sighs> well, if it's Sean Bean, that means that we have to deal with the typical, like... You know, spoiler warning, Sean Bean is this character. So his mortality is questionable at best. <laughs> um, 
Um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um, um. Um. Did you watch the trailer for Outlander? Ah! Uh. Did I watch the trailer? For, uh, the, uh, no? It has Nicolas Cage and Hayden Christensen. He still has a career? Yeah! That's shocking! <laughs> but man, Nicolas Cage. In top form in that movie. Oh boy. <laughs> It, it looks unbelievable. That's <laughs> that that sounds special. Is that a whole bunch of dudes? Yeah, backstab one of them. Nope, that or, was wrong. Uh, oh, okay, run away, run away. No, 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 don't get stuck on the door. Run away. <laughs> Bye. Well, nice seeing you. Bye, gents. Yep. Yeah, like it's Nicolas Cage, and he's like an old drunk wise warrior guy or something, and he has a stilly accent. And he's super over the top. Just everything you could want from a Nicolas Cage character. Great. <laughs> well, it's it's one of those things where if you know how to use Nicholas's talents effectively, he is a great force to be reckoned with. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, Nicolas Cage has been really great in some stuff. Oh, yeah. And just unbelievably Terrible. bad in other things. <laughs> I think my favorite was whatever whatever thing had him crying and it was just weird. Where he's like, boo hoo! And you're just like, <laughs> what, 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 Nicholas, what are you doing? What are uh, you. Oh, God. Yeah, like, Match Stickman is really great in that. It's a really impressive in Face Off. That was an interesting acting movie. As much as it is also a silly action movie. Which is you know, great. Uh, you know, but have you, did you watch that with us? Ah. What? Face Off? Uh, that was the thing where Nicolas Cage swaps faces with someone else. John Travolta. That's right, and they copy each other. It's, it's... <laughs> and they have to act as each other. Yeah. It was pretty impressive. What? Uh... God damn Colin, it. you idioted. <sighs> but the, uh, then you have Wicker Man. Mm-hmm. And who knows what happened there. That... I don't... That seems like a special level of, of dumb. I don't understand <laughs> it. Yeah. Fun fact, the famous bees scene was not in the theatrical cut of the movie. Uh, uh, oh, he's gone. Um, you were saying? The the not the bees scene was not actually ah. in the theatrical cut of that movie. Really? Yeah. I wonder why. It was only in the special DVD stuff. Hmm. But yet that's the only part anyone talks about about that movie. I so, mean... It's pretty. It as far <laughs> as acting goes, it's pretty heinous. Not the bees. <laughs> I mean, I I couldn't look at that and just not and not be like. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, would you want someone to put bees on your face? I will. I mean, and if you're talking about crappy Nicolas Cage stuff, um, you it would be. You know, you'd have, it would be remiss of you not to, to, to mention um, Ghost Rider, which isn't, like, as hilariously bad. It's just bad. <laughs> like that's What just, is he that's, supposed to do with that? I guess. Like, that isn't... Yeah, that isn't the best material, but still, like, that's... Ugh. I wonder if it just depends entirely on who's directing him. It might be. It might be one of those things where if someone really knows how to work with, uh, work with Nick... Then it's a it's a great thing. If not, I think you can get probably get a great performance out of almost anyone with enough like work. Yeah. Cause like it's you know ultimately it's up to you what actually goes on the film. Mm hmm. Like what's in the movie. And if you're good enough at directing someone, you could probably get a good performance out of them. But you know. Where was that guy going? Did you see him? He was just like walking on the porch being like, ah, da, ah. He was going to see his dog. 
apparently. And then you stabbed him. Yes, I did. And probably his dog. Also, good night. What? Oh, 